Welcome to another episode of Reading with Pa Stephen. I have a very special book again today. And this book is called I Will Always Be Proud of You. And it's by Michael Wong and Lena Lucala. I look at you, my little one, and I feel a sense of pride. The love that grows inside my heart is one I cannot hide. One day, I know you'll spread your wings and then you will fly free. Today, I watch you wondering what you'll grow up to be. Will you enrich our souls with wondrous music or wise words? Will you protect our animals, our mammals and our birds? Perhaps you'll captivate the world with stunning works of art. or cook the most delightful meals that help to warm the heart. Will you rush into danger so you can save the day? Or nurse the sick to health again so they all may play? It may be that you'll someday care for those in need of aid or coach all kinds of athletes so they reach their highest grade. Perhaps you will empower kids to be all that they can be. Or maybe you'll find ways to save the creatures of the sea. Will you one day discover how to cure the common cold? Or maybe you'll show kindness that is valued more than gold. It might be that you'll turn our waste to something that has worth. Or pioneer clean energy to make a healthy earth. Will you turn your thoughts skyward for what's waiting in the stars? Or will you build a wonderful new world for us on Mars? Your passion waits, so seek it out to find the truest you and strive to be the best you can in everything you do. When clouds of doubt turn sunshine to a dark and hazy gray, Stay strong and know tomorrow always brings a brighter day. I have no doubt you'll reach your dreams and get there without fear. Just know that if you ever need me, I will be right here. I wish you happiness. No matter what you choose to do, I love you and I will always be very proud of you. And that's the end of our story. 
I'm wondering if you recognise the jobs that were in this story. So the first one I saw, a musician maybe, or a conductor, that's the conductor or a musician. Protecting animals, so maybe an environmentalist, a ranger maybe. An artist, a chef, a fireman, a doctor or a nurse, a caregiver, a coach. A teacher, and they're wonderful. A marine biologist. A scientist. It could just be another caregiver or someone who perhaps a, a philanthropist who likes to give money away. Uh, an inventor or entrepreneur. Same with an inventor, a scientist, a astronaut maybe. The same with this one here, an astronaut. So lots of different jobs in there in that story, and I'm sure you can think of many more, like policemen. I'm sure you can think of more, but the important message is the of the story is the parents are saying to the child, no matter what you do, we'll, we'll always be proud of you. And I'm sure you will make your parents very, very proud. Well, that's all for this week with Reading with Past Stephen. I hope you enjoyed that story and I'll see you next time.